Five seconds remaining. All right, let's go. Let's Dire go. team ban. OGs oh, turn to ban. Uh -huh. Dire team ban. OGs turn to ban. Hello and welcome back to the Star Ladder Minor EU qualifiers where we have OG versus D2P in a best of two. All the games today, of course, are best of two. Uh, oh, sort of the misinformation we were not aware. But uh, we're back into things with OG versus D2P. So the last game, uh, last series was OG tying one and one uh, with the players off Caban. Uh, this time, they're up against D2B, and uh, I'm wondering if they're going to go for a similar unit strat as last time. Uh, I hope not. I'd like to see an actual game of Dota this time, to be honest. It'd be really <laughs> good. I find it really interesting that Dota 2 players ban out exactly the same three heroes that, um, that Caban just banned out against OG as well. Um, obviously, both doing their homework, deciding, well, coming to the same thing. The same idea. Shadow Demon first pick. What year is this? Wow. D2P on a different meta. I hope, is this going to be a Shadow Demon Lunar opening too? That's what I want to see. Take me back. Imagine, what do you, imagine, like, if you if you see a first pick Shadow Demon, what do you pick against it? I imagine they're going to pick Nature's remaining. Prophet still. Pretty sure, yeah, you just completely ignore and pick what you're going to pick anyway, like... Five seconds not a big remaining. deal, just nothing which uh, cares too much about the constant oh, purge. Geez, turn to Life is good. It's not a Monkey King, although trees. Monkey King was actually banned, so whatever. And yeah, <laughs> they go for the Prophet, and what else is it going to be? Ember? Mm, trying to look at what's still in the pool. Earth Spirits in the pool if Jarex wants to play that tiny yeah, still in the pool as well. Uh, Whoa! Well, okay, well they're just right. doing the same thing again. They've decided they can't be <laughs> asked with today. Yeah, we're just gonna we're just gonna walk our games with this uh, with this minion strat. No problems. I'm sure Dota two players were watching that game though, so they will be aware of what is going on. Yeah, they should be able to get some bands out here and maybe some counter picks as well. They've already got the shadow poison, which is like okay. Ten seconds remaining. It, it, it's okay, but yeah, it's, it's it's a little more than that. You know, I was kind of following up, but well, just kind of okay. You need a little bit more, but you know, plus a couple more bits of wave clear or poke, and maybe you might have yourself a game. Ursa, go sniper. Ursa, sniper. You just run at them. You just don't run at them. Just <laughs> shrapnel them. Dire team ban. And they go for the tiny instead. Okay, okay. I mean, the tiny's really good. It, it, it's one of these heroes that is usually very good at bullying in lanes. The problem is, Nature's Prophet is going to be in one of the side lanes, winning that lane by himself, like we saw last time. Yep. And then the Enigma is going to be in the other lane, denying oh, a creep in jungling. Yeah. So maybe the tiny's job could be to just chase the Enigma while he's jungling, you know, stop him from just free farming. And they ban out the Beastmaster. I like that. Don't want them to win in 15 minutes again with that attack no. speed aura. No, that would be. Uh... I wouldn't be surprised to see a Lycan ban next as well, honestly. And I know the Beastmaster was the kind of centerpiece for that whole strat with the, with the auras, but Dire even so. Ban. Rubik ban, so they think it's going to be a tiny core. I mean, Shadow Demon Tiny as a, as a lane duo is really strong. You have so much burst potential if you take the, uh, the point in Soul Catcher. Oh, yeah, yeah, Turn for that extra. Ban. Oh, look, there you yeah, go. There you go. They get rid of the Lycan. Great job, Dota 2 players. They're not just players, they're also watchers. Maybe they're just listening to the cast. Maybe if we suggest something really stupid, they might pick it. It is five minutes behind, though, so... Oh, no. They're hackers. They an incoming sniper pick, and I don't know. <laughs> Troll bat. In the spirit. I've seen this draft somewhere. Yeah. I mean, they're kind of running out, though, because their next two heroes are banned, so... Why don't they just go for the Ember, and now they're going to be like, oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> the, shadow sh the Shadow Demon's okay against the Ember, though. You can purge him with the ult, so it takes off the Flame Guard, which is nice. But the Ember, if he gets the Flame Guard off before the Tiny jumps on him, it does soak up a lot of that damage. Yeah, that's could spell trouble. Oh, geez. I guess it works both ways. You want the Flame Guard to stay up still. I wouldn't be surprised if that's a Dazzle mid against the Ember as well. I yeah. feel like Dazzle does this, really well against Ember. So. This can be quite scary. Just so you know, by the way, in these qualifiers, I'm just looking at some of the statistics. Uh, Life Stealers have a 73% win rate. It's, yeah. 
That hero is really strong at the moment, though. Pretty mad. Ten seconds. It's so self-sustainable as well. It allows like these position or the supports to just roam around. Five OD is at seventy-two. Wyverns at eighty percent. Only five games on Wyverns. So How many games has OD played? OD has played uh, seven games. Okay, so he's five and two. Yeah. Uh, yeah, 26 games play on Lifestealer and 73%. Pretty, pretty bananas. It's just that Radiance build coming back as well, being so good against a lot of the carries at the moment. And especially with Midas being back as well. I hear benefits. a game where she had a KDA of 49. Wow, that's quite impressive. Yeah, that's quite something. Yeah. How do you work out your KDA if you have no deaths? Because you can't divide by zero. Yeah, I think you just count them. Dire team <laughs> pick. Nice oh, stalker. they pick the Night Stalker on OG this time. That's interesting. So you assume that's going to be Seb's hero. Very good against these two uh, heroes in the Shadow Demon and the Dazzle, just chasing them down. You know, stopping their save potential coming out. And that is something we haven't mentioned. They have a double save on the Dota 2 player's side. Oh, kind of lack stuns, though. I'm not sure how I feel about this. With this silence from the Night Stalker? Yeah. This is going to really hurt the Juggernaut. And, and it's, the ton of harassing lane from the Prophet if they're laning that. It, it's good against the uh, the Enigma's Eidolons, though. You can just chase them down. And they have really good kill potential between the Shadow Demon and the Jug if they lane together. It is a hero that you make illusions of that can do a decent amount of damage. I'm just worried about their lack of initiation. They're, they're quite reliant on the Tiny to have a good game at the moment. They don't really have a team, any kind of team fight either. And when OG are going to group up and push early, we saw it last game. What's your answer going to be to that? I'm expecting a Tide ban here. By, by OG. Yep. Yeah, I need to get that Tide out of the pool, I think. Otherwise, it just gives the uh, D2 players a good chance to fight and really take the... Take the uh, Darks is still in the pool, though, as well. Which could be good. I'd like the Tide more. What else could they go for? Dire team ban. Oh wow. Maybe it's not like the Underlord for the counter push. They ban Kunker, so they don't think it's gonna be Dazzle Mid. Hmm. Ten seconds remaining. What, what do you ban like against OG here? You assume it's going to be Jerax, Enigma, Nature's five Prophet 5, so they remaining. need a carry. Or some kind of core. That does... But they, they don't really want to pick anything that's really agi based into the Shadow Demon. Yeah, that's the, uh, that's, that's the tricky part, isn't it? What else does IOTW... Have they picked like a Drow or something? On OG? Yeah, I mean, it feels kind of weird with an Ember Spirit, but it's definitely an option for them. They do like playing that hero a lot. The Gust is really good as well, this game. Yeah, it's a great Israel. Gust. It's a great game in general for silencers. I know that again, I, I feel like it kind of... Mind you, it, Manta doesn't work, but it's nice for silence, so... But they could just pick... Oh no, I was going to say they could pick Lycan again, it got banned, but... They, they did play Drow a lot before, didn't they? I don't think they've done it in a little while now. But... I guess it's, it's always open. You could pick Gyrocopter. I'm not, I, don't, I mean, I don't like that hero too much, but it kind of makes space for the Ember as well. Oh yeah, Lifestealer. I forgot that hero even existed, and we were just talking about it a second ago. We were a bit, yeah, saying how good it was, and then completely ignoring it for the draft. That's uh, that's very good by us, but yes. Lifestealer banned out by the Dota 2 players, of course, because uh, that hero is pretty crazy right now, boasting a 72% uh, win rate uh, in these qualifiers they... out of many, oh, many games. Yeah. Are they doing Shadow Demon Tiny off... No, yeah, okay. It is Dazzle mid. Yep. Or I assume. It could be Dazzle off lane and Tiny mid. Yeah, I think that's... Yeah, you definitely put the Dazzle mid versus Ember. I would assume so, but Tiny's not bad either. With that really high base damage. How's Lich made it to a last pick, by the way? Yeah, he's just... He's just, he's just chilling. They have some really squishy heroes, though. The Shadow Demon, Dazzle, remaining. Lich. Uh, you look at the OG heroes, they are... Gonna want to be hunting. Five seconds remaining. Not... Sure how much I like this Lich-Shadow Demon support combination, either. Sounds a bit rubbish to me. It's very yeah, good. That's, that's, that's true. I mean, Shadow Demon position 4 in itself is okay, but with the Lich... It's pretty good now, yeah, with the changes of Shadow Poison, it, it's, it's been quite effective in the past. Mm. So what do you pick if this... Okay. Why well, they pick Luna anyway? Yes. 
I was thinking about it, but I, I didn't think they would go for it. That's, uh, that, that's quite surprising. But uh, yeah, wow. they, they go for Luna all the same. Hmm. So what does the Luna do this game? But They picked it into the Shadow Demon. It makes these heroes a lot stronger when they group up and push as well, I guess. Lich, by the way, picked 18 times with a 55.5% win rate, so pretty, looking pretty good on the Iceman. Yeah, that hero is okay. I think it's in a decent-ish place, maybe a little bit too strong at the moment, but... Yeah, that Frost bad. Shield late game is simply banana bananas. Yeah, the Frost Shield's going to be really valuable this game as well, especially yep. against the push from OG. Yeah, lots of physical damage. It's going to be Topson on the Ember, who's going to be outpouring the magical damage, and that's going to be hopefully enough to get through this Frost Shield, because you've got Spin with the Frost Shield as well, but then you've also got the Science from the Night Stalker as well, so there's, there's a lot going on, a lot to think about this game from both teams. Uh, I think it's going to be a very complicated game. <laughs> yeah, I, they don't take objectives very well, though, on Dota 2 players either. Uh, well, it's like, yeah. it's okay. Like, the healing ward is one of those things where it's like, it's nice for split pushing, but when you're actually trying to siege, it's it's not fantastic. Because it does tend to just get killed, and you've got Iodlons and Treants and Glaives to kill it, so. Uh, did Glaives bounce to it? To what, sorry? The healing ward. No, no, no. no. So it's the same as, like, Tombstone and Egg and things. You have to actually hit them for it to, yeah, for them yeah. to take damage. Yeah, okay. Well, at least they got that, but still, yeah, they've still got a lot of range and a lot of ways to take out that healing ward, so I think it's going to be a uh, tough game for uh, Dota 2 players to win this one, as uh, OG have put a very good draft and very draft they're, they're very comfortable with. These goddamn gongs. We are not going to get rid of them. What's that? These goddamn gongs are just every game now. Yep, yep, that's uh, the OG way. Uh, I like the way uh, Boom immediately comes in, by the way, and starts like spamming his own voice lines. He's ready to fight. <laughs> He's like, hey, you guys think you're the voice line masters? No, no, no. We're here. I like the OG tip each other at the start of games as well. <laughs> yeah, it's like a pat on the back. Like, you know, let's, let's, let's go get him. <laughs> and uh, this tree will reveal the smoke. Yeah, it's going to show that they're doing this uh, aggressive move at the start of the game. There's no time I just summon two trees. Yes, he does. Look at that. Wow, what a player. Four trees on the map. How do you play against this? Thirty seconds. To I love how he's making. He's sending forward the ones that are going to die first as well to tank the damage. Yeah. And it's just the little things. It is indeed the little thing. Um, it does look like it's going to be a shadow demon core actually. Really? I think so. No, surely it's tiny core. He's got a stout shield and regen. I mean, he could be either still. I, I don't know who plays what in this this lineup, so... Yeah, that's the thing. I've like, casted one of their games, I'm, and I think Kaizuko was on the offlane, but maybe they sort I, things I'm around. I'm pretty sure MYS Moon's the offlaner. I'm like 90% sure. Oh, okay, okay. But we'll see. Interesting. Things pretty, pretty standard, as it's two for two on the runes. Nothing exciting going on just yet, as we get set up into game number one between D2P and OG in this best of two series. There you go, Enigma denies the range creep again, by the way. Yep. And then he, instead of just sending the line start, like sending his hero down the lane, he waits to deny the next range creep as well. Yep. What a pain in the ass. What a, what a, what a fun game. <laughs> for, the, for the Enigma, he's, he's probably going to use these ones to go in jungle, but guess who's in the house? It's Hadjadlo who's going to be able to block both of these camps by himself. So, Ooh. Uh, Derek, is he going to fall for it? Is he going to walk into an empty jungle? Very sad case indeed, if that is the case. They have done their homework, haven't they? They have, certainly. This spawn box of the medium camp in the Radiant Top Jungle is so weird. Yeah. I feel like it was just like, oh, we need a spawn box. Oh, just kind of like, I'll just drag drag one out. There you go. That was good. Uh, but Jarek's actually turning up into lane. They want to put the pressure onto the Juggernaut because they realize that the Lich isn't here. So they're like, hmm, where could he be? Well, they probably watched <laughs> the last game. And I'm blocking camps right now. Meanwhile, down at the bottom, it, action is kind of kicking off as uh, No Tail fighting off with uh, Kazuko and MYS Moon. No surprise here to see No Tail trying to zone these two out, just like last game. He's uh, getting his aggression on. Now, last game we actually missed Topson getting the first blood onto the mid lane. This time it's going to be Dazzle versus Ember. This isn't a great matchup for uh, for the Ember Spirit, of course, because Dazzle's his damage is all physical. Like, even his, uh, his poison touch is physical as well, and that means that it's not going to be blocked by the Flame Guard, which... You know, yeah, you can't take off Flame Guard, but at the same time, you can also damage through it, which is uh, often very, very nice. The nice deny comes in by Digi. Yeah, it works both ways, though. Where, you know, you can just play around with the Flame Guard and try and get some CS whenever it's up. 
Or whenever yeah, it's down, you, know you basically can't. Enough, sure. Yeah, you basically can't walk into the lane when it's not up though. Very difficult. And he's maxing slight of fist again. Got Mad two man. points in it by level three. Yeah. I guess that's how you CS. You just stand back and use sleight of fist. Yeah, don't need to be in the creep wave if uh, you've got a sleight of fist on 14 second cooldown. And Jack sees that his camps are blocked, by the way, on the top side, so he just juggles bot side instead, starts denying the mid-range creep. Yep, no tail in trouble down at the bottom lane, they're taking a lot of damage, he is going to be the first blood, they're trying to get the return kill onto Kadko here, but the uh, Shadow Demon running away quick, quite quick, they're trying body to get the blocks. body blocks in, is it enough ILTW actually being blocked up by the Trinks themselves? Uh, but in comes no tail, one more right click will be needed, but he does find that kill. Meanwhile, RTW running around from MYS Moon. He's got Avalanche in four seconds, but I think RTW's going to be okay. He's got a one to work with as well, and just backs himself up. Yeah, they have to be really careful down in this bot lane of the damage that can come out between the Tiny and the Shadow Demon. Yeah, it's kind of insane as no tail just runs and face tanks and range creeps and gets a bunch of crass on him, MYS. Thompson's doing a lot better in this mid lane than I thought he would. <laughs> this is the, uh, the sense of the day, isn't it? The, yeah, uh, yeah, I guess it the is. Morphling versus Pango, the Ember versus uh, Pango. That Lich just body blocks the medium camp again on the top side. Yep, really Drag's well feeling very sorry for himself right now. Can the, I do uh, Ancients? Probably not. I did actually get them the large creep camp this time though, so yes. you can go and do that if you want. They got the D ward, which is nice. How's this Jug doing top? Oh, he's, he's just pulling the creep camp, okay, because Seb pulled as well. Yep. Just uh, increasing efficiency here by taking that... Um, uh, that large creep camp and a bit of extra gold in, always, always intelligent move. Oh, Seth might just jump in and get the big creep. Might pay for it though, he's gonna have to TP out of this one as the spin and frost shield come out and he tips boom as he TPs away. What a rude guy. I'm not sure, I, I feel like he could have just run and he would have ended up in the same place. <laughs> well, that's true, but yeah, probably would have taken the same amount of damage as well as the spin and frost shield were just running out. So. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. Oh well. Meanwhile, down at the bottom, no tail could be in some trouble in the trees here, but also doing a ton of damage to Kaizko here as uh, the Luna comes forward. But no tail just getting hit by this big old stick from MIS Moon. There's here. Avalanche ready. Yeah, looking for it. No tail. The gap is closed with the illusions and the damage and the poison. No tail does tick away. And ILTW, well, he'll be able to get himself a bit of space in this lane. It's still going for MIS. Doesn't have the mana for the Lucent Beam. Could have used the magic stick for it, but only one point that means it was very unlikely to get that kill. If not impossible. So let's look what Topson's doing. Okay. This, yeah, I, yeah, I've never seen anybody do this before in the mid lane. Uh, yeah, I, I think I saw it when. Uh, Kai P were playing the open qualifiers, they did this a lot on their Ember Spirit as well. Um, it's just creep skipping behind, and uh, yeah, you kind of grab yourself an entire wave of XP. It's, it's if you're kind of losing the lane and you can't contest, you just bring it back here and life's good. We'll miss uh, one or two from the tower over here. So it's, it's not the most efficient thing to do as he is losing quite a lot of CS from doing this, but at the same time, what's the Dazzle doing? He's gone to the jungle, which uh, doesn't really feel too good. And he wants the top end to get a kill to Hadjajo. Boom just has to spin away from this one for now as well. So yeah, as, as soon as it turns night time, that Night Stalk is ready. And look at Seb's build. He's actually got three points in Hunter in the night because he knows that he has a movement speed advantage and they don't have any stunts. So he can literally just run at them and deal damage. Yep. It's nice to see players adapt to games like this at high levels. It helps us all learn when we watch, but, you know, how, things we can all do to improve our gameplay. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. So, oh, Tiny. In trouble. Actually going on to Seb as well. Tiny, though, is going to drop down in the bottom lane, and Seb's going to be okay up at top, so... All is well. All is well. Tiny just getting a little bit too greedy there, trying to trying to finish off some treants and get no tail and dies in the process. Uh, Neil Topson, not particularly healthy in the mid lane, trying to dodge the does dodge the poison wave. That's pretty big. Okay, the fact that Topson's dodging poison touch is actually kind of big. Uh, though taking a fair amount of hits here in the middle lane. He can just TP back to base and come back to the remnant if he needs to anyway. Yeah, he'll be fine. He doesn't search for the runes either, which is interesting with the bottle, but valuing the CS. He will TP himself home, heal up and come <laughs> straight back. You know how Tango now gives extra regen from Sprout? Yeah. If Tiny picks up the tree, it should do more damage. Agreed. Yeah. But uh, that's. Oh much. my god, No Tail. What? <laughs> so much damage. Run, No Tail. No, he's got a tree himself somehow. And uh, continues attacking MYS Moon. So he's going to drop here. Yeah, throw that tree. Boom. Nice. That damage is ridiculous. Yeah, double damage tree on Tiny this early on is uh, just insane. Top yes. lane as well, Seb's hunting. 
Radiance bot. Bad joke. Can he actually get attack. this kill? I don't think he yeah, can. Yeah, he just runs at him. Surely. No. He has ult as well. No, Never he's mind. Chill. He's chill. When did they add the Night Stalker into his ultimate? Uh, they made it so the vision's uh, unobstructed around you. Yeah, but why did they add the little logo into it? Because it used to just be trees. Now it's got a Night Stalker in there. It makes it more look cool. It's the it Batman does. effect. It does. <laughs> Meanwhile, whilst we're, whilst we're looking at logos, uh, RSW falls in the bottom lane, but... What are people really here for? The kills or the logos? Yeah, exactly. Definitely the kills. We're just helping oh, learn, guys. Uh, Boom comes in for a hit on Eidolon. Might pay off his life as Seb pops the ultimate and just jumps around. It's just smashing into this poor Jug here. He will be able to get a spin off eventually and does get himself away. The Frost Shield helping out a lot there to keep him alive and give him that physical resist. Yeah, but look at him just run back in again. Yeah, care. Seb's not done. Although, you've all seen the healing ward. Oh my god, Radiant's this damage. Yeah, this is insane. This guy's hitting so hard. And now oh, ILW wow. coming in as well. They're going full committal onto this as they have got this 160 damage nice drop to work with. But have to bag themselves away as they get over to the Shrine on Dota 2 players. And that will be the end of that. Dyer's yeah, this, uh, this Nature's Prophet was sitting mid to try and get a kill on this Dazzle, but he actually did rotate away. So Nature's Prophet goes back bot again, tries to leech some of this XP while Luna goes top to push. Play Dyer's around their tanky Night Stalker. Now it's night time. Uh -oh. Arms comes out again. Shadow Demon this time the one in trouble. Skazko being run down. Can Seb finally get himself a kill? Looks like he will be able to, especially with Toxin coming in. Meanwhile, Jarek being spun down by Boom. Boji coming in hard with the Eclipse as well. Diddy says, I'll take it all for the team. And he is going to drop for that. Now Boom running through the trees. They're looking at Hajjo as well. Topson looking for one. Seb looking for the other. The Flight Fist comes out and it will mean Topson finds that kill with the right click. Meanwhile, Boom has gone down south. He's got a spin of four seconds to work with and a TP. So they will give up on this kill for the time being. But OG looking for a tower after this as well. That's the difference between the carries this game though. From Because the Jug didn't get any range creep XP, the Luna hits level 6 and Jug still doesn't have it. And you see how much of a difference the Eclipse made that fight to, yeah. to kill off the Dazzle. They had an Omni Slash, you know, maybe it could have been different. Yeah, it it's really is a, a huge point. Uh, and that's the effect, that's the Enigma effect. Pick this hero, it's pretty good. <laughs> if you look at the CS chart by itself, you would think that the Dire Side are winning, but it's because of these good rotations that OG are making around the map. Yeah, Topson is uh, is leading up the net worth, but you know it's it's all pretty close to be honest. Uh, not even a one k gold advantage to be honest. So things still hanging in the balance as uh, OG will continue to try and force some rotations and make their uh, make their presence on the map better than uh, Dota two players. Mm -hmm. Noto has actually gone for three points in teleport, They're not leveling up that nature's call at all. Uh, meanwhile, oh, Night Stalker in some trouble up in the top lane here, trying to run away from MYS Moon, and boom, running into the tree. Seb, he doesn't have the Crippling Fear to work with. He's only got to avoid the tree throw. He gets it. MYS picks it up, throws it over, and Seb will die. Imagine if Luna, the TP, had finished just after that, that tree hit. That tree hit. Oh, no, that would have been nice. Okay. Uh, meanwhile, Jarex is smoked up here. Sees cards go, but will not be able to take this group. But in comes Dobson. The chain's on to two. They will use the Sears to gate to hold Dobson still for now, but Dobson will finish the job. Now, look towards Kaizko as well. The Shadow Demon trying to get his way out, but the trees come out from No Tail. And uh, now, uses. The body blocks. Yeah, this is so annoying. And the classic No Tail thing. It's blocking him up, and he can't get himself away. Oh, no. Dobson gets the right clicks. And Amazbury finds another kill. He, he just keeps on finding kills across the map. Who needs creeps when you've got heroes to farm? Yeah, I mean, Topson's just everywhere at the moment. It feels like he's even gave drums as well, so he's going to be able to play the map even quicker. Radiant yep. Jug is trying to play with the Tiny up top here, especially Radiant while it's daytime. This Night Stalker's not, not as strong as he was. Yeah, he's just, he's just a little kitty now. A little night, uh, day kitty. Yeah. I mean, you know, hitting the 200 with the double damage really without it, you know, the Radiant significant chunk of his damage is gone. Very scared to come near the wave as well, you know, we can just get spun and Omni Slash as well, so actually some real kill threat coming out from Boom here, so Seb just have to play careful. Look at Topson bot, he, he doesn't care. Oh yeah, he's, is he going tier 3? Okay, this time he said, I, I feel like that wasn't him, I feel like that was probably like Seb being like, Top Topson, Topson, no, no, we don't <laughs> dive tier 3s at 11 minutes 12, we don't do it, alright? Topson, oh, but he's throwing poison at me. <laughs> Topson. They have no stuns, he doesn't care. Uh, TP in to the mid lane. Throwing out these flight of fists, though. Uh, Boom yeah, trying to close the distance here. No tells the one being hunted, though. He has got the TP away. Meanwhile, Topson ramps around back and gets tossed up into the air. Meanwhile, Boom will find the Omni Slash, but Topson actually uh, over to him. Not sure if that was a plan or not. Um, 
that's close. They both uh, get them both eat both of them inside the trees I think and black getting hole. flushed. Yeah, it's got mana. Available. Sun's coming through though. It's gonna be able to get the snipe onto Hadjo here. Now they're trying to run down the devils one double so low, it's gonna die. Uh Boom will run himself away. Now comes the black hole just onto Kaizko here. They do get the off lane. There. Seems like a lot of commitment, but hey, get to kill the top Jarek Stein. That's definitely worth it. And a nice moon, his TP is cancelled as well. Seth gets on top of him on this night stalker. Thompson comes in as well, and Tiny is probably gonna be dropped here. He's trying to run over to the creek camp, but not gonna make it as a kill comes in. OG takes three kills in the middle lane. They do lose their Luna, but all in all, I'd say that's worth. I love that the Noto used the Wrath of Nature to try and get the kill on the Tiny there, just as he came back alive again. Yeah, I didn't want him to deny himself into uh, into the creep camp, so I think <laughs> that's fine. Yeah, this is one of the best things about the Nature's Prophet support, though. You can TP onto these cliffs on the enemy side of the map and put some deep vision down. Become one with the wards. And they will be able to abuse this vision as well with how aggressively Radiant they're playing this map with the Night Stalk and the Ember. Radiant's bottom tower is under attack. Maybe not in this daytime, but when it hits nighttime again. Yeah. Dyer's top tower is under He's attack. getting Midas on Night Stalker as well. Dyer's structures are okay. fortified. Fair okay. enough. I, again, it's another hero that just benefits so much from this attack speed. But the Midas yeah, can that's give true. You. That's true. That helps out a lot. And I mean, there's no rush for OG to finish this game either. It was like if this Dazzle hasn't really achieved what they wanted it to on the Dyer side. DTP smoking up, looking forward here, but uh, <laughs> Seb, long time gone. He, he got himself. I say that he's still hanging around, and there's they're pinging. Pings exactly on his location. Yeah, that's going to be lining straight towards him. Do they see him? Go for the TP, immediately cancelled by Kaizuko here. Now Hadjo, he's here. Got the sense to gauge as well. Seb, he's in some real trouble right now. Gonna have to pop the silence, but it doesn't really matter. He's gonna go down all the same. Meanwhile, in the mid lane, they get the return kill onto I am at MYS Moon. But uh, yeah, still interesting fishing there from Seb and does get himself caught out. I don't know if he was seen by the tower, do you think? I don't think so. I think there was just really good game sense by the Shadow Demon. I mean, Seb even tips him afterwards because I think he realized that. Yeah. Was... yeah. No, no, nice, nice call there, bud. Uh, meanwhile, boom. Down the bottom lane on the Chuck Norton, just trying to split some waves and make some space and uh, help his team out as best he can by putting some pressure onto OG's lanes. But I mean, yeah, they're, they're not far behind. They, they still have a pretty good shot at this game, but things are pretty scary. No tell is building this Necro book actually the same as last time. So it wasn't just a one game thing because they have the push strat. He, uh, he really wants to be getting that split push going. Yeah, I mean, kind of makes sense in these kinds of games, I think. Um, gives them the opportunity to take objectives, which. They're a little bit lacking otherwise. I mean, Luna's obviously pretty good at it. And uh, they've got the idol on still open as well. But they just want that extra push to be able to really threaten hard every time they get a uh, kill. Why does Dam Dazzle get a 75 damage talent? I don't know, mate. Because he's a support, quote unquote. This is the problem, by the way, with the, the Nature's Prophet deep aggressive wards. That when you use this Wrath of Nature, the enemy know that you've got vision around there somewhere. So it's, it's much easier to de ward. You have to be really careful with how you use that Wrath of Nature. Don't try not to give away too much information. Flames Shadow Demon. They could um, be in some trouble there. Doesn't matter to grab the bounty room, so, uh, you know, hashtag worth, but we'll go down on the same. As uh, Thompson will grab the second bounty down here at the bottom, and it looks like it's going to be a straight. Tr no, RTW's actually got the runes at top, so it's, it's all four runes for OG at the 15 minute mark. They do get the. Oh, Lich just jumped as well, but they get the mid tier one in return on the die, so they get something at least, but yeah, definitely but not worth it. No, oh, this guy's a clip. Uh, the killer as well. Oh, that's a silenced up as well. Oh no, there's, there's no way he can graze because he's silenced by, uh, by Seb here. Um, yeah, RTW being sensible here, just backing himself away with that uh, the clips coming through. There's a, there's still a lot of damage, you don't really want to mess with that. Yeah, he only has two points in Lucid Beam, he's going for the Greedy Farm build, where you go for the points in Luna Blessing to uh, help the rest of your team, and then go for the points in Glaives afterwards, I imagine, to just help your farm speed. Yep, I like this build. Um, I think, you know, last game we saw him going for the damage for the Lucid Beam, because they needed a way to, uh, sorry, uh, a couple of games ago, um, he went for the Lucid Beam build. Was it actually today or was that yesterday we watched Sora Luna game? Um, I think it was yesterday, wasn't I don't it? Know. Someone needed to fight and they went loose some beams. That, that, that's my point. Um, I'm going to drop this now because... <laughs> <laughs> had to be there. Yeah, yeah, had, had to be there to really, really get it, you know. Yeah, if you if you want to watch our cast, you have to watch all of them. Otherwise, you yeah. don't understand them. Yeah, otherwise we're just going to talk about stuff you don't know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Nature's Prophet's TPing in onto the... Mm, pretty hard onto Digi here. Aha, oh, yeah. got him! <laughs> I don't know if you saw what he just did. What a did. gang from No Tail. But did you, did you see what he did? I he know. He TP'd into that spot and then swapped the uh, belt of strength in to make it look like he put a ward down. What a player. 
So they're going to probably waste a sentry on this location because why else would he have TP'd there? That's what they're thinking in their heads. No, Hatchet's, Hatchet's right here and he's holding on to the, uh, oh. the sentry. So. Yeah, they're, they're wise. They're checking inventories. They're no, they're no dum dums on the side of Dota 2 players. He calls Nature's Prophet out on the bluff. Yep. Meanwhile, Topson held pretty still here, unable to get himself away as the Omnis Hatch will sweep through and finish off Topson. A little bit out of position there on the old uh, Ember Spirit. So my Smooth blinks forward to look for more, but will only find himself Eidolon. But Eidolons are delicious, we'll say. What do you think they taste this, like? Where was his remnant, by the way? I'm just... He had oh, one out, but I can't... Really down the, down the cliff, yeah. Ah, uh, right, okay. So what did you ask me about? What was tasty? <laughs> no, what, what do Eidolons taste like? Uh, mm, the sweet release of the void. Sweet release of the void. Yeah, I think so. Well, that's what Seb's about to taste right now as he gets dropped by the Roshan pit. I think they taste like licorice. Oh, really? Why? They're the same colour. <laughs> I kind of hate licorice. Yeah, same. Awful stuff. As well, you know, I, I think I think the taste of licorice and the taste of a never-ending void of eternal suffering is pretty much the same. Yeah, they're, they're, they're both pretty much as bad as each other. Someone gets, uh, gets chained up here. Topson just going to uh, chase him off. Get out of my jungle. He's going to get the healing ward though. Worth. Wow. Uh, so I'm starting to rim them past there. Having a bit of fun. There we go. I don't think he saw the jug spinning, so he's just trying to cut down the trees. Get oh, he's just out of sight. Gotcha. Seth's going to get that Vlad's now on the Night Stalker. Feels like OG are going to hit a timing very soon with their draft, where they can just group up and go for these pushes. Notel has a necro book. Soon, how about now? As uh, Notel, RTW, and Topson all ganging up on this bottom tower, and an army of Eidolons join as well. But Seth, he's actually going to find Juggernaut here. Can actually bring this guy down with the side time. He's got a lot of time left on it still. The disruption going to come in and save the Juggernaut for the time being, and now he's going to get that spin off. They have enough damage with right clicks. He actually gets tossed up by his teammate, and that means that they can't get himself away. Now the Eclipse comes down. Dude, he's going to have to. Uh, Shadow Grape to keep this himself alive here. Meanwhile, Seb trying to get on top of MYS Moon. Did he actually going to get himself a lot out alive on the backlands? Maybe not so lucky on the timing here. He's being ran down by RTW7 Thompson. Meanwhile, on the backside, they've got Kaizko in the trees as well. Thompson jumps his way back over, but he does get banished up. But Seb's on top of him. Kaizko, it's too much damage for him to withstand. And down goes the Shadow Demon as well. OG find three heroes and only lose their Luna. These heroes are too squishy. They, they can't deal with the damage that are coming out from OG. Yep. The Dazzle is not doing anything in these fights. I mean, he's going Greaves, but if he gets run at by this Night Stalker, the Greaves aren't going to do anything because you're still going to be silenced. Yeah, this, this, uh, this Night Stalker is doing a ton of work. It's a really good hero, apparently. I mean, really good vision by OG before was right. that. Sorry? EPD was right. Yeah, true. A really good vision by OG in that fight as well. If you see, they have that ward next to the shrine. They just saw everything. They knew exactly yeah. what was happening. They were in full control. I mean, that's when when you've got no tell and profit, you know you're going to have great vision for every single fight, which is why they love this profit and Ember combo so much. He didn't even use the black hole on Enigma. It's still available. Yeah. And you see the, the difference this game. He doesn't go for that medallion or the aura builds. He knows that they don't have a way of cancelling this black hole, so he's just building BKB. Through the BKB, yeah. 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 Although otherwise there's like avalanche and disruption. Oh, and, yeah, uh, sorry. Yeah, mm. kind of old stuff. But yeah, through the BKB. No way to cancel it, so yeah. Just uh, get yourself at BKB online nice and quickly with your Humble Dominator. Also, why did the Titan toss the jug up in the air when he was spinning? Yeah. Oh, uh, uh, jug? I think he was trying to get it to his... Oh, oh. He's in some trouble again. Silence up. Can't spin. Seb, is he quick enough, though? He's not quick enough to find the kill. Boom will get himself away. He's got the Yasha drums and phase boost. So his entire game is basically around trying to get out of these silences, which thankfully does keep him alive in this situation. Where did the Ember go there? Did he jump back to a Remnant? I felt like they could have got the kill. Never mind. Dyer's bottom tower He's going up Terrain on Ember, by the, on, by the way. Just, you know, more slights. Nice. More chains. Yeah, them cooldowns down. Always good. You know, uh, Ember's Radiant got some Oscar. fantastic spells. So, uh, it does make sense to try and get those cooldowns down. 25% the Octarine gives you as well, so... I think one of the most obnoxious things I've seen at the moment is this Ember Cottle. Where yeah. if you Chakra Magic after they've used chains, by the time the chains have uh, reached their full duration, they're just off cooldown again. Yeah. Or even for the Slight of Fist as well, we can try to see high ground and just... Slight of Fist, yep. oh yeah, Slight of Fist again, oh, okay. My oh, so if, dead. If you get the two Slight of Fist charges as well, you just don't stop. <laughs> Unfortunately, that's not how Chakra Magic works. <laughs> if only. But yeah, for some reason it doesn't work on ability with, char with charges until they're, like, fully on cooldown. Which shouldn't really be a thing, to be honest. They're hunting this Luna. IOTW knows there's something going on here. Quivering in the trees, but holding on to the game that sense. TP. 
Oh no, he's gonna come into contact with it. Oh, no, oh, oh. Shadow Demon, uh, cancel the TP. Who's canceling who here? Into the trees they go. And there's the perk coming down. MYS Moon will close down that gap and get the toss. ILTW, ILT dead. Why didn't you make disruptions of him? Well, you gotta, you gotta be farming Shadow Demon. Yeah, man, get, get, get that jungle going. How much farm does the Shadow Demon have, actually? I've been on, I've been on CS instead of Network this whole time. Yeah. Terrible caster. I know one. Well, luckily, I'm not the play-by-play -play or camera control. It'd be awful. <laughs> yeah, we got me instead. <laughs> oh yeah, much better. <laughs> yeah. Uh, gonna get jump spawned in the middle lane by Kaiko and Ditchy here to close the gap, and the shadow comes out, but they won't be able to just jump himself away. Yeah. Healing wave, not enough to blow him up. You know, not a nice idea to shadow wave him and blow him up immediately, but yeah, didn't, didn't quite happen. We were talking about Mass Slight Fist. He's got an Arcane rune now as well. Here we go, it's oh happening. Boy, doesn't have that. Uh, we need Octarine Arcane. That's that's the dream. I wonder what the cooldown is at that point. Probably like three seconds or something. Uh, it would be 25% on the Octarine, which gets applied first. So that gets it down to 4.5. 4.5, and then uh, 30. Is it 30% on the. So it's 30% off 4.5. So it goes down to just about three seconds. That's pretty scary. Pretty neat. Pretty, pretty neat. Uh, they're going for Roshan, but Dota 2 players, they're looking to play some Dota 2. They come in, the Sentinel starts off with the Sun. Thompson just going to jump straight into everybody here as MYS moves up from the backlines, trying to bring that ILTW. Nice. ILTW is actually going to get all these the backlines, but no, it runs away, but they will get the tree. Now the Black Hole pops in, holding Tiny and does not still. Meanwhile, on the backlines, Dazzle getting beaten down. He's got the sin, but the spin through from Boom. This going to get take down Jarek, and look for more as well. Thompson, though, he's running this fight through. He gets a triple kill so far, looking for more, but gets managed up. Meanwhile, Boom falling low to the rather the right takes no tail set low down health on the high ground Zeb has to, uh, but Thompson has to get himself back and they will be able to find the kill onto MYS Moon Zeb does stay alive he's looking for the second rampage of the day as he's taking down Kaizuko and in comes those chains oh Nick no, please steal it no no Zeb no, he's, he's trying to <laughs> he's trying to but Thompson will get his second rampage of the day on this Ember Spirit oh my word I mean I don't understand how this dash was supposed to do anything in the fights the Night Circle literally just runs in, and I feel like whenever I see a Dazzle in a fight, he's just basically almost dead. And he, he isn't doing anything. Yeah, he's just sitting in the middle of a fight, doing nothing, graved up, sitting there, wondering why on earth he picked this hero, or why on earth this hero was picked for him. This arc that Arcane would do so much work in the yeah, fight that the was, Ember. that was insane. I don't think you can fight into an Ember Arcane when the game's this season. Not even anymore though, 5k gold advantage to OG, Roshan also looking to go their way as they will take down the big boy and claim his big juicy Aegis. They have huge control problems on this dire side though. You see like OG basically just walking in and they can't do anything. Like they can't commit to a kill on this dire side because they don't have any way of controlling people. Like the Shadow Demon's nice, the Tiny's okay, but Nice Stalker doesn't care. They can't stun anybody. <laughs> I mean, Seb is dropping low in the fights, but you know, yeah, and I think the biggest problem is this Luna. She needs a BKB now. Haste. I think it is coming out soon. Yeah, she's actually, she's, she's rebuilding for it because I think she just saw she was going for a Yasha or something beforehand. But yeah, Altelby keeps getting jumped upon by Tiny in the back lines of the Dazzle. fights and really struggling for the Luna to actually get anything oh, done. But yeah, with his BKB, Dyer's that will solve that problem. I mean, Luna isn't even the position one this game, though. It's the Ember. No, that's true. So, and why it's Luna? Guess for it. He's a little bit too late. If he gets a little bit earlier, he, Look at he the would have kill. On the supports of OG. What supports? <laughs> I don't, I don't all, see any supports. It's just five cores. Uh, is going to see No Tail here. Who else is coming over? Did you just make his way through? I think No Tail's probably gone here. He's fine. Uh, doubts. I mean, they're getting two tier twos for this in return, so I'm sure OG are fine. Yeah, yeah, they're not mad. 400 gold going to Kaisco. It's kind of whatever. Oh, Shadow Demon. Sense. Oh, he's gonna get full stuff a little bit quicker. Seb's bot at the moment, he's hunting. But oh, who who's getting hunted? Hunting who? Well, Thompson's coming in and he's gonna root up the two on the left and start to um, oh, chuck away. And he's gonna have to uh, split out. Luckily, the juggernaut will go to run himself away from fun. Thompson's actually controlled up pretty well here. And I don't think he has himself a remnant out. But then again, it seems he's left in him. MYS Moon's gonna get run down by Thompson and by MYS Moon here. Meanwhile, Seb looking for more. Can they get him? Yes, they can. Digi's gonna go down as well. Tries to get the TP out, but doesn't pay off. Another three heroes drop in for Dota 2 players, and uh, things looking a little bit grim for them right uh -oh. now. Uh-oh. Shadow Demon, they see him with the wards. Oh, they're not gonna chase. Right. I mean, they still have Black Hole. But again, it's the same thing. Thompson just runs in. He doesn't care. Black Hole, nonetheless. <laughs> yeah, true. But the Thompson just runs in, he doesn't care. He knows they can't control him. So he just walks into the middle of the fight, same as Seb, running them down. Yep. 
It's uh, very little for him to be scared about right now. And uh, the Fox is now finished on the Ender Spirit. And uh, in goes the Chain Slap Fist as well. Uh, Purge doing a fair amount of damage to Thompson here as he's trying to dodge off. He's going to heal again in a sec though. Yeah, there you go. Watch the health come back. There you go. Mm, delicious. Under attack. And he's, he's just healing all this damage from the Octarine. The magic damage, sorry. Yeah, it helps out as well. The, uh, the mouse from every single time, but Prox shrug. gives him a little bit of health back. No Tell's pushing bot. They're pushing mid as well at the same time. And OG, the Ardlons were chipping at the uh, top tier three a second ago. Yep, Shrine's going down. There's too much for Dota 2 players to deal with right now. They're uh, a little bit locked out of this game. They're just stuck in their Dyer's own base at the moment. Shrug. In the last few minutes, they've it's gone from about a 5k net worth difference to a 10k, so... Just getting split apart at the moment. Yeah, I mean, the destruction on Saloon, but ILCW pops the BKB and just comes straight forward here. OG turning the aggression on, but who can actually find ILCW pretty low? Well, the going to rip through everybody, but find really only Seb, who does not give a shit. As they bring down Hajjo, now looking forward to the Dazzle as well. Seb chasing, he's got that BKB going. They've got that on the back line. Destruction going to save him for now. ILCW dropping low, but it comes a black hole. It's BKB'd up and onto two tiny and Juggernaut. Held still and bought down. They'll look forward to Juggernaut. Can they finish him up? That silence. There's Mansa. It doesn't get him out as Thompson running rampant on the back lines finds yet another kill death after death dota 2 players they are melting they want to give it one last shot but that base is falling rcw throwing those gloves they bounce around the base the searing chains out onto the juggernaut i'm not sure there's anything left in the tank for dota 2 players gg is called and that will be og taking game number one of the special two series you know, they didn't really get the game kind of game going they wanted to on the uh, on the Dota 2 player side, did they? Well, you have this, you know, Dazzle and Tiny playing really aggressively around the map with the Shadow Demon trying to find pickoffs. OG just grouped up when they needed to, and Topson was the guy that just sat in lanes and split pushed. No tell split pushed as well.